Three, four, the only TV screen. Ow. Bed is green. You see the tambourine. Ow. I'm too high. So high. Never, ever, ever gonna come down. I'm too high. So high. Like about to die. Y'all remember that? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, my illustrious family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Katija. Hey, y'all, I just want to say something. I want to start my little vlog off with this. A lot of y'all say that, um, I remind you all of Queen Latifah, okay? Uh, I've gotten several emails from y'all telling me that. Um, not only am I Khadija, as my daughter say, the real Khadija, not that Khadija on Living Single, the real Khadija, that's me. Um, I, became, I was Khadija before it was fashionable, okay? But a lot of y'all are sending me um, comments and saying that I remind you of Latifah. Let me say this, first of all. That's, you know, I, I, I appreciate that. I have a lot of respect for the queen. Um, and in my book, she's definitely a queen. Got shit straight. Uh, but let's not make any mistakes. Her personality is like mine. Okay? I was Khadija long before Dana was Khadija. And not only that, I'm a lot older than her. <laughs> In fact, so much older than her is that it's amazing to me that she would represent my personality. But that should just go assure y'all that there's somebody on the planet everywhere you think. We are all individuals unique, but there are certain individuals that remind us of one another. And what it is is she reminds you of me. Okay, because uh, again, I was Khadija before it was fashionable. So now that we got that out the way, <laughs> let's move on. Let's move on. Um, I wanted to talk about a discussion I had this weekend um, with a lot of uh, community leaders, I should say, or people that have worked in the community with uh, in Cobra who have worked with NAACP, who have worked with, um, uh, you know, just community activists in general who have, in passing, talked about HR 40 and who have talked about these things, reparations or repair for us. Now, I want to make this video about this again because there's a lot of discrepancy in what I said the first time. What I said and what I meant is everything has its time. Um, and instead of those of us who, are, who have been a part of those groups, instead of us freaking out on the ADOS movement, American descendants of slaves, um, American original, whatever, whatever they calling themselves, it really doesn't matter. See, to me, when I think of deception, and I know y'all don't want to get into scripture, but the devil makes evil fair seem, and he comes to deceive and just manipulate everything. The energy of a Satan. Okay, so if we can't even get started and move forward, if everybody's fighting over just stuff that makes no sense, okay? When you remove your ego, which is the hardest thing for us as humans to do, I already get it. So, you know, I'm still working on it. I, I haven't perfected this. We are to be perfected. But a lot of times, but I can tell when my ego was in something. And that's before I respond to it. Most times, I try to make sure that my ego was out of the situation. I'm telling you, it's the only way we can get past anything because 
it's been set up for us to be divided. Not just black, black, and black and brown, and black and white, and white and white. What happens is, whenever somebody is putting a doctrine or a dogma over you, it is important to get you to see the divisiveness or the divisive, the, the division in one another. It's, it's uh, to, to whatever, it's, it's to their best interest to get you to focus on things that we're uh, different about as opposed to things that we are like about. So anybody that wants to come in and control your mind, they already know. If they come in and start focusing on the differences, kind of like what Donald Trump is doing, okay? It will make everybody freak out because we all have differences, okay? But if um, an entity will come in and is strong enough and could focus on what we all have that's alike, it's just a matter of perception. My grandmama used to say, you know, your opinion is like booty holes. Everybody got one. But I'm here to say, when you perceive something, something when you are looking at the exact same thing as somebody else, and except y'all seeing it totally opposite from one another, it is apparent, it should be apparent, I should say, that you're operating off of a different type of stimulus, Right? And so what we got to do is figure out a way to be like, mm, they not, I'm not even going to say you wrong and I'm right. I'm going to be, it's come, it becomes apparent that we're operating off of different stimulus. That's it. So I, I'm going to look at it like the elephant. I'm in the front of the elephant. You're in the back. And if I'm constantly in the front of the elephant, watching that trunk swing and swing and swing, and I'm giving them peanuts, and just really basically having this nice view of the elephant, then my perception is going to, mm, you know, reflect that. That's what it's going to reflect, that, oh, look at the beautiful elephant, you know, the elephant. I'm giving them peanuts. That's what my conversation is going to reflect. However, if I'm in the behind of the elephant, and all I'm seeing is gobs and gobs of crap falling down on my face or on my shoes. And all, I, all I'm uh, equipped with is a shovel to just get it off of me. Then my perception of the elephant is going to be totally different than yours. And only a fool couldn't see that. Only a fool can't see something like that. So if we switch perspectives, even if it's for a couple hours. If it's done in earnest and if it's done in honesty, then you will see. That's why there's a scripture that says, Lord, don't make me so rich that I don't give a damn. Something to that effect. And don't make me so poor that I got to steal. Because this world has been based off of division. So the more I can divide you, boy, the better it is. And I believe this is so far gone. I don't, I don't think it's no coming back personally. I'm not very optimistic um, about man's inability to love one another. You know, I believe the world this time, as they said, fire next time. This time it's going to be fire. Unless we can figure out a way to stop the snowball from escalating on down the hill. Because right now this ball is so huge. You know, so... What, I, what I'm saying that to say, put yourself in some, whenever you want to go off at the handle and say this, that, and the, and the third, make sure in yourself, before you act on it, at least try. You should try to see if this is something that is happening to you because you're in the front of the elephant. This is just your perspective. Or if I can just possibly come out of my comfort zone and see it from a different perspective. Because if you're not able to do that, then you won't be able to see the division in how we're going to get reparations when we're fighting one another. Our perceptions and the way we get there may be different 
but it shouldn't negate the fact that that's where we need to be. And we're going to have to figure it out collectively with a voice that's solid that says, this is what has to be done. And if you are to lend your mind, body, and soul to that cause, then that's the way I think, in my opinion, you have to proceed. That's just my opinion, all right? And then again, like I said, my grandma said, opinions is like buttholes. Everybody got them. So tell me what your perspective is, all right? Leave a comment below, because I really want to hear what you think about this, all right? In the meantime, if you like what you hear, just like, subscribe, share the video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.